David Benavidez, undefeated middleweight man. You've been making some big moves uh, in your career. January 28th, you're back at it. Tell me what's been up, bro. You no, know, uh, we've just been training, working hard in the gym. You know, we've been training for about three months now. And this opportunity presented itself. We're going to be on the show box. Uh, the first fight on show, uh, Showtime. Uh, yeah, Showtime Extreme. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I, you know, fight on Saturday. I'm already on weight. We're just waiting for the day. Okay. Anybody who saw you when you were younger, you're fighting in Mexico, you before your brother, you know, when your brother was winning the title coming up, they knew you were going to be next in line. So this isn't a surprise, is it, yeah. for you to be here? Well, I mean, I've been working hard my whole life, man. So yeah. it's, it's only a matter of time, you know. But you know, never, we never, we never got anything easy. We've always been working hard. Yeah. You know, we finally got this opportunity, and we're not going to let it go to waste. So here we are. Yeah, but you're still young. How old are you now? I just turned 20 in December. 20. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe this. What's your record now? Um, 16. And oh, 15 knockouts. And you just you stopped Dennis Douglas and yeah, Dennis Douglas. Good and, uh, tough fighter. Yeah, it was a so good you're fight. winning these fights now. Um, do you do you know who? What about your opponent on the 28th? Um, Any idea? I think he's from Ukraine or somewhere from over there. I know his name, but it's hard to pronounce. Okay. He's now, 14 and one with seven knockouts. Um, we've been watching him on tape. He's what do you a, see? He's a boxer, you know, but we can't always trust what we see on tape. Maybe he's gonna want a brawl, or you know, we we train for a boxer or a brawler. Gotcha. So whatever whatever style he wants to bring to the table. Sure. Now, guys, you know another fight taking place around that class. Canelo Chavez, uh, the Mexican big Mexican fight. What do you think of that one? It's gonna be a great fight, man. If Chavez, you know, works hard and does what he has to do, he can make it a tough fight. But if Canelo, Canelo's also a beast. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's gonna be a great fight for Mexico. So, yeah, the, the people are gonna be the winners of the fight. Remember when he, Canelo lost to Floyd? Do you think he's a much better fighter now? Yeah, I think he's, he's improved. He, he's, he knows he has a little bit more experience. Um, and it's gonna be a great fight. Chavez, though, some people have written him off. You know, he's had a few losses here. Hasn't been always making weight. Do you think he can put everything together for this? How I mean, dangerous is he? I mean, he has five months for training. He's, <laughs> right. So he has no more excuses. Than, he has more than enough time. And he, I get, I'm pretty sure Chavez wants the people to know that he's, he's, he's the best from Mexico. That's what I'm thinking. Gotcha. So if he wants to do that, he has to prove himself by beating gotcha. him. He's the best in Mexico right now. But you, it's going to be a great fight. Now, I've seen you up at the Summit Gym training. Training, Abel Sanchez's gym, getting ready for other fights of yours. So you've seen Gennady Golovkin in training person. What do you think of him? Um, so, you know, he's a beast. Dude, it's not only that he's a beast, it's worth that, that he's amazing. You know? Yeah. He works so hard, and that's why he looks so great in his fights, because he works so hard in training camp. Gotcha. Oh, him and Danny Jacobs, what do you think of that one? It's going to be great. Like, another, like I said, it's going to be another great fight, man. Danny Jacobs, you know, he's, he's a great fight. He has a lot of power. I mean, he beat cancer, so... He doesn't want. To, I mean, he said that nobody, nobody can beat him. But yeah. you know, Cancer can beat him. So how's he gonna let Gladi Golovkin him beat him? So sure. he has a good point. It's gonna be a great fight. Um, like, but the, the winner of that fight is gonna be the people, man. It's gonna be the two great fights coming up. So. Do you look at these guys as future opponents? Like maybe two years, a year? I mean, what, what? How do you view them? Right now, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready and fighting the fighters they put in front of me. You know? but, yeah. You know, I'm still young. I got a long time to go. But if, the, if you know, a big name like that appears. And they want me. They want me to fight like that. You know, I'm gonna do everything in my power to be ready. Gotcha. You know, we're, we're here to train. We're here to, you know, win titles. And I'm not never gonna back down from the fight. You know, it's been my dream since I was a little kid. So yeah. that's how it's gonna be. How do you? Uh, how can people reach out to you, man? Um, I have a, my Instagram right now. It's the only thing I have. It's uh, David underscore Benavides underscore 300. I'll give you my latest news on, you know, what's coming up. And, uh, on this. Good luck this weekend, bro. Thank you. of Uzbekistan. It's all uh, going down this Saturday. Earth in Santa Cruz too. It is up in fast and becoming one of the most up in country. We will be fighting on Showtime Extreme. And we'll be going a couple of hours before our live broadcast at 7 o'clock local time. 10 a Eastern family of fighters. Good fighters. This, uh, this is a good fighter. I think your father helped train you guys. Yeah. 
but we've seen other times that the younger brother, whether it's Canelo Alvarez, uh, Callum Smith, they go on to be the best in the family. Why is that happening? I think it's because you want to prove to all the brother, all the older brother, that you're better than. You know what? We want you to come. Go ahead. We're gonna have to carry that challenge. That's just me. We're gonna get on the microphone. I guess he doesn't. You not want to do it? You are. You are Mexican American, right? We're gonna have the corona. Kind of a. Usually Mexican fighters come in the lower weight classes. But El Cerdo Ramirez, now you. You guys are getting bigger. We're that new generation.